Hello, today we're with Tom Sloan and I'm the um, Executive Director of International Relations at West Virginia University. So our first question of the day is, what do you recommend students who come to educational fairs like this today ask questions to the college booths? Well, I, first of all, I really think there's no such thing as a stupid question, so I wouldn't worry too much about having really, really brilliant questions. Um, but I think it's impressive when students have researched a little bit about the school before they get to the table. So that if you if you maybe looked at the website and, and at least knew where we were located, that would be nice, or knew maybe a couple majors that you were interested in, that would also be good. Uh, but, um, yeah, I think, again, that uh, we, uh, we just enjoy students having questions, and a lot of times I think... Uh, some students are more prepared than others, so I think just maybe being a little prepared, uh, looking on the website before you come to the booths, that's good. If not, don't worry about it. All right, thank you. So our next question is? Our second question for you is, what do you believe is the best way or the best method to get scholarships at universities? <clears throat> well, again, I think that so much of scholarships have to do with performance, previous performance. So the best way you can actually prepare for scholarships is to do well academically. And high school grades are extremely important. Um, unfortunately or fortunately, if you're good at taking standardized tests like the SAT, some of our scholarships are, are partly at least based on SAT performance or ACT performance. So doing well on standardized tests is also good. Um, I think then there are some scholarships that you, you, you need to research. Again, looking at the website to see you might be qualified for a certain scholarship because your father or mother works for a company or because you're Korean or because you're Malaysian or, or, or whatever. So there are some scholarships that are pretty specialized that you can find on the website and maybe you have to ask about. Maybe no one's going to tell you, oh, this exists, but because you are uniquely qualified. I think Education USA is a great way to work, too. I mean, the Fulbright scholarships are really, really good. So I would encourage anybody to work through Education USA to find out about scholarships. Okay, thank, thank you. you. And our last... That's a good plug for you. <laughs> That's true. And our That's last... True. <laughs> Our last question is, how do we get the vibe or the feel of the environment of a college campus without actually visiting it? Because college tours can be very costly. They can be. We have an alumni a club in Korea now. We just charted it on this trip. I think many colleges have alumni groups. Some of these folks have been there 30 years ago. Some of them have been there two years ago. But it really doesn't matter because they all loved their university and they can tell you all of the great things that you can do there and they really do have a passion no matter what the university is and I think the best way absolutely is to talk to somebody who's already been there all right thank you so yeah. much okay thank you good questions I enjoyed it <laughs> all right thank okay. you thank you for your time thanks a lot